Hey guys, it's me, Sydney Marie, and welcome back to another video of me trying to teach you how to bake something. And if you're brand new to this channel, welcome. So today we're gonna be making donuts. The first ingredient you're gonna need is flour. Next is Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt always is better for baking. Then you're gonna need baking soda and sugar. Let's get started. So first you're gonna start off by measuring out one cup of flour. I am using a half cup because math is great and this is the only time that I ever really use it is in baking. Next you're gonna do a teaspoon to one and a half teaspoons baking soda. I usually use about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more like a teaspoon and a fourth. And this part is completely optional. It is up to you. I like my dough sweet, so I add in a teaspoon of sugar. And last but not least, the most important part is the Greek yogurt. You're want, going to want to do three-fourths cup Greek yogurt. You can use other yogurts, but honestly, Greek yogurt definitely makes it taste the best. I think the other yogurts give it a weird consistency and they they don't cook right. Call me yogurtist if you want, but honestly, it just, it works. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, when you're doing the three fourths, you can be generous with the yogurt. Don't go over a cup though. It's gonna get too dry. You want this dough to be sticky when you're mixing it. So it's not gonna mix that well, but it's it's good. At this point, you can totally mix it if, with your hands if you want. Um, it's gross feeling. It sticks to your hands. It's not gonna peel off like good bread dough or any of that. It's, it's gonna be this weird consistency, but that is exactly what you want for these little baby dessert nuggets. After you've got it all mixed together and all the flour is soaking wet with this yogurt and yeah, it reminds you of mozzarella and mashed potatoes like they had a baby of stickiness. Start heating up some oil in a frying pan or a pot. I like to use a frying pan so that when I drop the little balls in the oil, it doesn't come back and splash me in my face. I also love how I totally forgot to take my hair tie off my wrist, but yeah, that's life. Anyways, if you're like me and you're using this frying pan, you're gonna wanna flip the donuts halfway through, that way they cook on both sides. Once they get to this crispy golden color and start resembling little chicken nuggets, you can scoop them out and set them in a paper towel or on a plate or wherever the hell you want to so that they can cool off. So for a basic icing recipe, you're going to need butter, milk, any kind, vegan, non-vegan, whatever, and powdered sugar. You also might wanna add in vanilla, I totally forgot, as you will see. And then you can add in fancy things like cinnamon, cocoa powder, if you want them chocolate, or even lemon juice. You can get as bougie as you want with this recipe. So to start, you're gonna use a makeshift double boiler or a double boiler, whatever you want, and add in five tablespoons of butter. Next, you're gonna add in three tablespoons of milk. I am using a half tablespoon. I just realized that, wow. And on high heat, you're gonna let this melt. Be careful, guys. The bowl, especially if you're using a metal bowl, gets really hot. This is where you're gonna add in your vanilla or forget, and then add in either your cinnamon, cocoa powder, or whatever other kind of spiciness you wanna add into it, or nothing at all, doesn't matter. After that butter is all melted and delicious, you're gonna wanna add in 
your powdered sugar a little bit at a time. I like to do half cups at a time and then mix it up. You can use a whisk, you can use a knife, you can use chopsticks, it don't matter. It's your life, you do you. Just don't touch the bowl, it is gonna be hot. After that sugar is all melted down and it's got this liquidy goodness going on, you can add in a little bit more sugar and just keep going until you hit that two cup mark. Now this is where I started getting bougie and I added in some lemon juice to make a lemon cardamom glaze. I did not realize that I hadn't added the vanilla so I just kept adding in more lemon because I was kept thinking, I was like, wow, something is missing. Something is missing in this lovely icing. I just don't know what it is. Maybe it needs more lemon. Maybe it needs more sugar. I don't know. Nope, it needed freaking vanilla. But you know what? I didn't even notice that until after I had made the donuts completely. My brain is gone. So this is where I decide it's probably not sweet enough. It needed more sugar, but that didn't fix it. So I just kept adding in more lemon. And after it was to the liking of mine where I was like, yeah, I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. I decided to dress my little nuggets. So the way I like to dress my little nuggets is by putting them in a bowl and then I just drizzle all of the icing on top and start mixing it together, flipping them around in it, you know, coating them, making them all slimy and sugary and delicious. You can also put them on a cookie rack and just drizzle the icing over it. It's, it's up to you. I think this is better. It coats them fully where the icing on the cookie rack kind of thing really only gets the top. I always feel like there's like a missing part. So after they're all covered and gooey and goodness, you want to take out, out a sheet of parchment paper or a silicone sheet like I have or even a cooling rack and then practice your social distancing with your donuts and give them a little bit of space so that they don't stick to each other and let that icing dry. It takes about 10 to 20 minutes for the icing to set depending on how humid your house is and how warm the donuts are. You can also put them in the fridge or the freezer if you want them to set quicker. I usually just let them sit out overnight that way in the morning I have little sugar nuggets to munch on with my coffee. This recipe is so easy to make and it is so good. They are actually even better in the freezer, just FYI. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for new recipes every week. Thanks for watching and please comment if you've made this and you love them or you hate them. Just let me know. Love you guys.